Do you want to look better, feel better, or do better? Yeah, me too. Let's get at it. This week I'm talking about the habit of enjoying the moment. Enjoying the moment. Oh boy, I wish I could say I did this better than I do, but enjoying the moment because this present moment is all we really have. How do we do that? How do we stay focused on the present instead of thinking about what's happened in the past or fretting about what's going to happen in the future? How do we do that? Well, the focus on the present moment helps us see life more clearly. So when we're looking back, like in the rear view mirror, we're not seeing things very clearly. Or if we're projecting into the future, thinking about what may happen, we're also not seeing our life very clear right now. What's happening right now? Why is this a good habit? Enjoying the present moment. It's not just so you can just be in bliss all the time, although that might be one of the reasons. But when we're enjoying the present moment, we're focusing on what's happening right now. I'm doing this video, I've got a microphone, I've got my tea, I've got my phone, the sun is shining, there's traffic outside, but I'm right here at my desk, this is what I'm doing. I'm focusing on this. I'm not focusing on what happened when I was an eighth grader or what's gonna happen when I'm 80. I'm focusing on right now. But we can so easily be distracted. You might have already been distracted and you've already clicked this video off. There are so many things grabbing for our attention. But what happens when we grab that shiny object, we miss the opportunities that are right in front of us. We do not need to go fast to get a lot done, or we do not need to go fast to experience a lot of life. When we actually slow down and stop being distracted by everything that's around us, we can really, really enjoy and embrace life. Sometimes we miss opportunities that are right in front of us. Sometimes we miss people that are right in front of us. Oh boy, I, this happens to me a lot because my eyes don't work as well as most people's. And so I, I, I can, if I'm not focusing on people, I'm focusing on like the ground or things or not tripping and I miss people or I miss solutions. If we're too busy, like thinking about our own thing or projecting how we want to control something, we aren't listening and hearing these opportunities that are around us. We just get distracted by too many things. So if nothing else, the present moment can help you from being distracted because we're not gonna do very well at anything if we're distracted. And now I'm going off script. Let's say I'm swimming a race. I am not gonna do well if I'm thinking about um, what happened last night or what I'm gonna eat later. I have to focus on the race. If I'm doing a project at work and I want to do it well and it's a little confusing, I need to focus on that. If I keep jumping and looking at my email, I'm less than half as productive. So staying in that present moment is really the best way to get the most out of life. This is such a huge revelation. When you understand that this moment right now is the only moment you have that changes everything then you like if this is the only moment i have i want to be grateful in this moment i want to be happy in this moment i want to be hopeful in this moment i want to be feeling light and good in this moment and that's all i got so i've been practicing in difficult situations thinking okay wait now what am i thankful for about this thing like even this thing is difficult, what am I grateful for right now? What am I learning right now? How am I, maybe I'm even learning patience. I had a something happen the other day and I didn't do it well, but I didn't do it as poorly as the time before. So I'm like, I realize this, I'm in this moment and I'm making progress. Because if all I'm doing is thinking about what I'm striving for down there, I'm like, not just current. All I, I'm going to be happy when I get that or I'm going to happy happy when I accomplish that. I want to enjoy and 
just this moment. I remember when my husband was in um, grad school and he said, you know, I really like learning and I might as well just enjoy this journey and not just wait for my diploma. And it, that was such a moment to me, like, yeah, might as well enjoy the journey, even if it's, even if it's challenging. I see this enjoying the moment a little bit like wondering what others think of you. So you could walk through life thinking, I wonder what she thinks about me, and I wonder what he thinks about me, and I, I wonder what they, because they looked at me funny, I wonder. It, it causes us all kinds of stress when we do that. But if you just think, I think people are at, at the worst, just neutral about me, or maybe some people do like me, but if you just leave it at that, then it's easier to live that way. So it's the same thing with time in our this moment. Why don't we just enjoy this moment instead of fretting about the past or projecting into the future? So how do you start this habit? This is a this is a really uh, challenging one in our busy, busy culture. First thing I would say is put down your phone. Just put it down. Take a whole hour and like put it on a in another room and just don't look at it. I think an hour for some people would be excruciating. For other people, maybe it's two hours. Just do something to not get distracted. Another thing that's been recommended is to sit for 15 minutes a day. I actually set um, a timer on my watch. Just sit there and let your mind wander for 15 minutes. We're just not accustomed to that. And just let your mind go. That's all right, but just enjoy that time sitting just enjoy it it's okay you don't have to be looking at something you don't have to be somewhere you don't have to accomplish something just enjoy 15 minutes just sitting there practice enjoying that moment another thing is uh, another way to do this is if you're in a conversation with somebody ask your friend a question and then do nothing but listen we really, this is a lost art in our culture too. Listen, not so that you can respond or so not you're not thinking about what you're going to say next, but just merely listen. And I'm preaching to myself here. Focus on your breath. We've realized that breathing is a really good way to calm yourself and center yourself. And that can slow you down enough to enjoy the present moment. Uh, two things have happened in the last couple weeks where this is not like me, but uh, to enjoy the present moment, I was just silly. I was just silly. At one point, I was just singing and singing and singing and singing, really enjoying that. And another time, I was dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing, really enjoying it. So give yourself permission to play. Just, just be silly. Enjoy that moment. What if it were your last moment on earth? Wouldn't it be great if your last moment on earth was be doing something you just really enjoyed, like singing or dancing? It'd be so great. Another thing I would recommend for um, enjoying the moment is take a look at yourself in the mirror. So often we don't want to look or we're doing something like putting on makeup or doing our hair, but just look at yourself in the mirror. You are a person that deserves love and deserves honor and respect and you have a lot of good qualities, send yourself some positive vibes. This is not gonna hurt anybody. It's gonna actually help all of those around you. Um, yeah, give yourself a little self-love. I mentioned earlier finding joy in difficult circumstances. Really like, okay, this is, I can I can decide to think real negatively about this or I can decide to think even neutral about it or I can decide even not to think about it right now because there's nothing I can do to control it but really allow yourself to just be in the moment maybe you're even feeling the bad feelings but you're just doing that you're not getting too far you're ahead of yourself 
And one more little trick about enjoying the moment, I, I've done this at the Mall of America, is I sit there and I look at the people. I watch people instead of my phone again. I enjoy watching people and I'll, I'll find something because I like fashion and shoes and hair. I like all that stuff. So I will look at every person and find something that I like about what they're doing. And, you know, like uh, something that they're wearing or something. And I think, oh, I wonder what the hell they what they were thinking when they picked that out or uh i just like to find something positive about every it's, it's a little enjoying each person that comes comes by so make a habit of enjoying the moment do it right now be well <laughs>